This is from a cooking magazine from the Dollar Tree that I am trying out today. So what it is, is thick cut bacon, carrots, cabbage, minced garlic, onion, sausage, oregano, salt. Um, it's supposed to have paprika in it, but I didn't put it. Chicken broth and um, let me think. I'm going to read the recipe to you. I'm going to go get it from the book so that I can share it with you guys. And no, I didn't want to do the whole cooking video of showing you the whole process. And I know that I stink for that. But I'm telling you this because I think it's a really good idea to pick up those magazines at the Dollar Tree. Just to give yourself an idea of some different things that you can put together on a budget for a family. I have a family of four that I feed every single day. Plus, my papa dog has her doggy food. So all of these ingredients that I picked up today to put this pot together was $40 from my local grocery store. I think it was like 42 and some change. But this will feed us for at least two days, maybe two and a half. If somebody wanted to have some for lunch and a bowl to take to work for them or something like that. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of, I don't know if you would call it soup or whatever. But um, this is a lot of food. And to feed the amount of people that I have to feed for two, two and a half days, that is really, really good because that makes it less than $20 a dinner to feed four people. So let me get off really quick and go get the recipe and tell you what exactly is in it and how to put the recipe together to make this and plus my house smells so amazing right now it is unbelievable i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab the magazine okay so let's look at this all right so this is the magazine let me flip to the front all right this is what it looks like this is the front of the magazine that i picked up at the dollar tree and right here that is what enticed me. I love cabbage. Cabbage and sausage stew, okay? So you need three slices of thick cut bacon chopped. What I did was I put the whole package of bacon in there because I want it to last a couple of days and there were only six slices inside of the package that I bought. I chopped a yellow onion finely I chopped a whole one because I wanted it to be a bigger pot. Two large carrots, pe uh, carrots peeled and chopped. What I got was the bag of carrots that are the small carrots. And they're already peeled and they're already prepped and ready. I just washed them and I threw them in the pot. So there would be a lot of carrots because we love carrots. Three cloves of garlic, which I did exactly that the minced garlic, one pound, I think I put a little more than that, honestly, uh, one pound of ground turkey Italian sausage. I did that and I added a little bit more than a pound because of the days that we'll eat it is like two, two and a half. The paprika, I didn't use um, because I don't like it. So I didn't add that part, but you certainly can one tablespoon of dried oregano. I did that and doubled it. One tablespoon of salt. I did just that because I didn't want it salty or anything like that and salt, it's just not good. Um, I just put that amount in it so that it wouldn't be too much. The 32 ounces of chicken broth. I added two of the 32 ounces of chicken broth. Um, the one can of the diced tomatoes drained. I actually added two of those 14 ounce um, tomatoes drained and I drained them and one large head of cabbage thinly sliced. So I will hold this still so that you can screenshot it 
and try to make it yourself. It is so good. I've tasted it um, off of a little ladle spoon and it is unbelievable. I'm so proud of myself. I absolutely hate cooking, but I have to do it all the time for my family. So I wanted to make sure that I did something that would last me a couple of days so that I don't have to cook every single day. And this is the recipe that I chose first. So there you go. Corn muffins, Texas corn muffins from the Dollar Tree packaging. It was the muffin mix, three eggs and one and three fourths of milk to make these. And this is also another thing we're gonna add to dinner. I hope you know that you're on YouTube. Okay. Okay. YouTube is listening to you sing. Because I love my wife. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I love you too, you little boo. <laughs> All right. Let's have some dinner. Great. You're going to see in a minute. Okay. Okay, guys, that's it for tonight. Happy dinner time. I will talk to you soon. Bye.